Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built, and in this episode, it's time to finish off a bunch of the little things I need to do before I can actually drive Harry 911. All right, so those of you who were watching last week will have seen that I had uh, a lot of playing around with a clutch to try and get that work, and I was having issues. I've spent uh, most of the morning, and I've changed the, um, the the way that the cable routes around in the engine bay, and uh, it's a much straighter pull, and the cable actually is moving quite freely now. It's not the cable is the issue. It's still a very heavy clutch. I've got uh, plenty of travel now. It was just some good adjustment, but... Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of the weight is this old clutch that I've got in here. The um, Yeah, I think that's a lot of the issue because the arm on the clutch, trying to, I can't manually move it by hand, but it's just, it's super, super tight. And uh, I'm pretty sure that is the big issue, not really, less the cable, more the clutch itself. All right, so the first thing I need to tackle today, now that I've got my clutch reasonably sorted out, uh, is I need to connect and bleed my brakes. So it's a bit of time spent under here, just uh, connecting all the fittings up, and then I need to start getting some fluid through the whole system. <sighs> spent half a day now wrestling down in that footwell, getting the clutch connected up, and also uh, connecting up all the brake lines. It is such a headache getting down there. It's really not easy to uh, get in there and get it all done, but it's connected up now. Now, I didn't bench bleed the master cylinders because I connected up the clutch and I'd forgotten to do it. So I'm hoping I can get the brakes, brakes to bleed, but I might not be able to without um, pulling it all out again. Let's get some brake fluid in and uh, see if we can get something working. Okay, I just labeled my master cylinders, of course, the way I've plumbed it all up, that's the front and that's the rear, which is really dumb because this is the front of the car. But that's the way it's done, so uh, that's the way it's staying for the time being. I'm gonna chuck some brake fluid in now. This is a Penrite Dot 4 racing brake fluid, so uh, it's good stuff. I'm going to chuck this in and then try and see if I can actually bleed these brakes. So I've left the car set up to actually gravity bleed. If you're not in a hurry, this is a way you can actually bleed the brakes and uh, often it actually works out quite well. Basically just lets the air bubbles work their way out and hopefully it all sort of bleeds itself reasonably well because I can just leave that and move on to something else. All right, so my next challenge I'm going to look at tackling is I'm gonna get in and start having a look at this wiring. While the back end is off, I know I still need to refit this rear bumper, but I may as well get the lights working properly. And at the moment, some things are working okay, others aren't. The dash is telling me different things to what the car is actually doing. Uh, let me just take you through and I'll show you what's happening. As far as at the back of the car goes, I can turn indicators on, on both sides, turn the, uh, the headlights on, and the headlight lights light up, that's fine. In here at the dash, it's a different story. So. As soon as I connect up the battery, the, the backlight illumination on all of my gauges is lit up and um, the headlight light is on, even though the headlights are switched off. So that's one of the issues. And then when I turn the uh, power on, both indicator lights on the dash light up. But when I put the indicator on, the opposite light to the indicator that I put on flashes. So that's all haywire. There's something all mixed up in the dash setup here that I need to have a look at. The other, other thing is I have no reverse lights at the moment and I have no idea where the switch is. So I've got to track down where the switch is so that I can actually make sure it's all wired in so that I actually get reverse.
Well, that was a job I was putting off for ages, but it was not actually as bad as I thought. I've actually got it all wired up. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I think my understanding of wiring is much better now and how this stuff goes together, because that was pretty simple. I'll just show you what I mean. Indicators, park lights, headlights. It all works. Yay! All right, that really wasn't as bad as I thought on the front. Uh, that's all sorted, so now I need to sort out these lights on the rear. I have my working indicators on both sides, they're all good. I have my tail lights, which work. I just need to go through now and actually get the brake lights and reverse lights working. So first step, let's go brake lights. Okay, so I forgot to turn the microphone on again, but I have realized that these wires down the back here, which are supposed to be for the brake light, are not actually doing what they're supposed to do. But I have found the reverse switch, which is right here on the back of the gearbox. So that's what we're gonna wire up now. All right, so let me take you through now what I've been trying to do for the last couple of hours, trying to get these brake lights to work. On this particular side, for some reason, the tail light is switched around with the brake light because the uh, brighter light on the dual filament globe goes off when the headlights are on. That's easy fix. That's just in behind the globe itself. For some reason, I couldn't get the brake lights to work. So the way I tracked it down, I went inside here and in this corner here, I managed to uh, bear the wires coming out from the brake light, the, from the lights. And I've gone through and um, by sort of stabbing my probe in each one, I can actually send power through to it and check and find out which, which light is which. And the black wire with yellow dots on it is the, uh, is the wire I want. And it was the same on both sides. I traced the loom all the way through the car and then went into the engine bay to try and find the other end of it and pull back some wiring and I can see here where whoever previously converted the car from left hand drive to right hand drive this is where they've spliced and extended the loom so um, I was looking for that color wire here and I couldn't find it so then I went inside into the footwell of the car and uh, exposed the loom in here and I eventually found those black wires with the yellow dots come out and uh, this particular cable had gone underneath the carpet. I managed to find it. So this is the cables that I need to connect to actually get my brake light switch working. So, All right, that was a lot of work, but fingers crossed if I've done everything right, I now have working brake lights. I haven't checked them yet, so let's uh, do the initial test. And... Oh, might need to turn the ignition on. Yes, we have brake lights, woohoo. Okay, so I finally have the wiring sorted. It was actually not as bad as I thought. I thought I was gonna have much more issues, but I actually have all the, at least all the lights work. There are some issues with the dash lights that are uh, still a bit dodgy and I need to track that down, but that is a job for another day. For now, the basic outside lights are working, which is enough to actually get this car on the road. So now I need to go back to the brakes, which I actually started, and when I started filming this episode, that was yesterday morning. So the car's been sitting for just over a day now, and there is brake fluid leaks everywhere. So first thing I'm gonna tackle is uh, this particular line here, which is one that I actually replaced and remade um, a couple of years back, and I didn't really have a very good brake flare tool, so um, I'm not really surprised at that. I'm pretty sure that the flare ends are not great, so First things first, let's take this line off, replace it, and see if I can get the thing to stop leaking.
All right, I think I've got on top of most of the brake fluid leaks. It's um, doing much better. I replaced this one line on the end here. I've gone around and I've nipped up a bunch of the little fittings that were loose. And uh, I actually had one of the master cylinders uh, where actually the, the reservoir was leaking in the front. So there's leaks everywhere. Hopefully I've got on top of it. I don't want um, to leave it leaking, obviously. I usually park Archie underneath and Brake fluid and paint do not mix well. Do not ever leave brake fluid on paint because it will eat all the way through. So I can't park a car under there for the time being, which means I'm a car park down. So uh, I really want to get this all sorted out. So next week, I've still got a bunch of things I've got to do. I've got to um, actually hopefully try and bleed these brakes. And I've still got to fit this rear bar, which means probably modifying this exhaust and getting this whole back end put back together. And then we might be able to run it and see if the alternator works and a bunch of those other things. So there's more to do. I hope you join me for it. Like, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff. Join us on Patreon. It really helps us out. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. See you guys.